We've talked about it before. So many industries are struggling to hire new workers. And that goes for lifeguards, too, as pools gear up to open for the season. Our Brandon Simmons joins us now from Twinsburg to tell us what greater Cleveland pools and beaches are doing now to work around this problem, Brandon. And Laura, let me tell you, it's a big problem because with weather like we have today, I wish I could go jump in the pool right now. So we want to make sure they're able to get them open. Here in Twinsburg, they're supposed to open the pool this Memorial Day weekend. We're talking about May 29th, but there is a problem, as you said, here and all around Northeast Ohio, there are shortages of lifeguards needed to keep people safe as they try to keep cool. Now, many industries are having the same type of problem finding workers. And what makes it more difficult to find lifeguards is that there is a two year certification that has to be renewed. And obviously last year, many of those lifeguards weren't able to do that. So this year they're expiring for a lot of them who worked these jobs in the past. So cities are trying new things to attract workers like increasing pay and even reimbursing workers for their training and certification if they're willing to work for them through the summer. We have a class coming up on June 1st. That's our next one. And we'll probably do an additional one after that. If we don't get enough staff, we're gonna look at reduced hours. So right now we're planning on having the water park open, uh, normal hours, 10.30 to 7.30, but we may reduce hours at our indoor facility. And it's not just the pools that are experiencing problems. Beaches, too, are coming up short. Both Lake Metro Parks and Cleveland Metro Parks are still looking to hire more lifeguards. In Fairport Harbor, they're already reducing the hours that they guard the beach. And Cleveland Metro Parks say that they may adjust the size of the swim areas if they can't find more people to work for them. Now, remember, this is a nationwide problem. It's not just here locally in Ohio, everybody facing the same sort of issue. So bottom line is check with your local pool or check with the beach ahead of time before you go, Laura, to make sure they're still operating in the ways that you're used to seeing them operate. I mean, Brandon, I'm with you. A dip in the pool right now sounds really, really good. <laughs> we need those lifeguards. All right, thanks so much.